The artists and organizers of Indianapolis's new Black Lives Matter mural say they're not discouraged by the vandalism that took place over the weekend. Our Steve Jefferson tells us what's next for this mural on Indiana Avenue. I talked to several of the artists and one of the organizers not only about what's next, but also the impact the vandalism has had on the artists. The finished project of the Black Lives Matter mural on Indiana Avenue shows all the hard work put in by the artists thrilled about the opportunity. I was a little nervous, never painted anything that large before or flat, but uh, <laughs> it was exciting. It meant everything. Um, I hadn't done anything creative in like a year. You know, when I got the, the notification that I was in, I was extremely honored. I, I, I'm just, I'm still in awe. The city closed Indiana Avenue with roadblocks during the painting. Stacia Murphy is one of the organizers who continually tries to get light shined on local artists whose talents are sometimes overlooked. What's gratifying is to be able to give opportunities to a lot of artists who don't usually get those same type of opportunities. But over the weekend, someone vandalized each letter with white paint, and it came as no surprise. You know, you, you know that's a possibility. And so you get your mind right for the fact that, you know, you put, on, put in all this work, but someone could mess it up. The fact that we have to paint these letters the fact that we have to paint this message on the street is sad, it's disheartening. Despite the vandalism, the artists remain steadfast, ready to restore, with even more people showing up to help. They're still coming in even now to even help repaint. Despite the vandalism, people are still visiting the mural on Indiana Avenue. If you can help about who may have done the vandalism, call Crime Stoppers, 317-262-TIPS.